Hi everyone, Stacy here from Dies to Die For. Welcome back to the third day of the 25 Dies of Christmas. Today we're going to be making the Tis the Season Pumpkin Flower, or Pumpkin Poinsettia card. And I have Grace here with me to be my assistant today. Say hi. Hi. Okay, let's get started. I've already done some of the steps for you, because honestly we started this video and then we had FedEx knock on the door, so I had to stop it. <laughs> So I'm going to focus on the slimline card today. I've done all the designs for the 25 days of Chris, dies of Christmas. I've done an A2 size, which is 5.5 .5 by 4.25. And I've done in a slimline size, which is 8.5 by 3.5. That's the slimline size that I use. So let's get some of our pieces and show you what I've done so far. I took a gray piece for a background and I glued it down to both pieces. Then I took our wood pitcher frame and I cut out the larger size in metallic silver for the A2 and two of the smaller size for the slimline. Then we have our pumpkin flowers over here. And the pumpkin flowers are, where are they, right here. These we released in the fall because they are a front view of a pumpkin flower, an actual flower for a pumpkin. But I thought they would make a good poinsettia and I needed a smaller size poinsettia, so I just used these to make the poinsettia. And if you want a smaller size than that, we also have our pumpkin patch show you that that has a smaller pumpkin flower on it so you could use this size this size and this to make a smaller poinsettia but that's not what I did I just want to show you that extra little tip and then I took the little berry pieces from our Harley and Berry and cut those out for the centers of the poinsettia I did um, this this one and these two, but I do it, did them two layers thick so I could cut them faster because that's a lot of centers to cut. But doing it that way, two layers thick, all four of those, I, I only had to do it like two and a half times for each card. So it wasn't that bad. If you have another option, like a die with all circles on it, that might be nice. Or even a metallic marker or something to do the centers with, that might work. Especially if you're in a hurry because it does take a long time to cut and glue down all those centers. Okay, anyway, for the point, pumpkin poinsettia, I used the pumpkin flowers, then I layered all three of them on top of each other, and I inked the edges in gray wolf, um, Simon Hurley wolf ink, and then I just kind of bent them in a little bit. You can do that either before you glue them down or after. Just make your little poinsettia. And I did that in cream color and burgundy color. The burgundy color, I inked around the edges with a white ink pad. Kind of make them stand out a little bit more. Okay, and then we have the Tis the Season title that we're going to be using. This was a new November release. Here it is right there. It comes with a shadow. You just, all of our dies we have connected at two points, so you can just kind of rock them back and forth and they come apart. If you have sharp edges, you're going to want to take some wire cutters or something, get the sharp edges off or even a little piece of sandpaper so you're not getting yourself. But anyway, here's the shadow for the Tis the Season, then the words, and then I glued them down. And I think that's about where we were when he knocked. Okay, so let's get started building our card now that all of our pieces are together. Oh, and I also cut out a bunch of the holly piece, pieces in green because we're going to use those kind of as the leaves for the poinsettia. I put my, when I glued these frames on, I just kind of angled these two a little because it looked better that way. I tried it with one frame and it didn't look right, so we did two. Now this I put down a little bit to make some room for that poinsettia and that holly. Let's get 
that on there. And then you're going to want to take two of your bigger holly leaves. I don't know why I'm gluing on my mat and not my clipboard like I usually do. Probably because Grace has it over by her. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And the holly, I went around the edges in a little gray, too. On my original card, I went around them with some green, and it didn't give me the effect I wanted. So this time, I went around them in a little gray. Put one like that. And bring one facing the opposite way. Kind of put those in the corner a little actually. The other one I put over that. I like that look. I'm gonna take a burgundy pumpkin flower and put it up in the corner. And then I did the same thing on the A2. with the holly and the burgundy flower in the corner. Grabbing all the burgundy flower. This one. And if you don't want your poinsettia flowers to be dimensional, oops, you can just leave them flat too. They look cool flat too. I just like dimension. If you're mailing them out, you might not want to pop them up. Those down. I'm going to glue the Tis the Season on too. On to the A2 quick. So I can get both cards done at once. Okay, Grace would like to help me stick it down. So I'm going to let her do this. I'm just going to show her where right about there. So this just goes up under that flower a little, okay? Okay. Um, yep. Looks good. Oh, I move it over a little because you kind of want it centered. Okay, hold that down a minute. Then, for the slim line again, we'll work around your hands. There we go. The top frame I kind of left for the title, a little arrangement there. And down here I left for the kind of candle and point set of arrangement. So I'm going to start by putting my holly leaves on there. I put one on each side and one in the center so it's going to be behind the candles because it looked too plain without something there. If you want to take your poinsettias and lay them out so you know exactly where, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I do better if I just eyeball it. This one way up here. When I cut stuff out like this, like the holly, that I that's just a filler for me. I usually cut a whole lot more than what I know I'm gonna need because I would rather have more than not enough. And the holly and berries is something that you can use on almost any projects. If you have too many, you can add them into something else. 
Okay, now for this little pumpkin poinsettia, I used two of the smaller holly leaves. Grace is telling me to use my clipboard and not my mat. Okay, so we'll use the clipboard. I'm going to do a white flower right now, too, so I can put them all on at the same time. I guess I can pick them up. Okay, I'm going to put these probably maybe about there. Maybe there. We can move them around if they're not just right. Okay, put that white point center right there. Good job. Move it over a little bit so it's on the card. Oh, and plus our holly's not showing there. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'll hold it for a minute. Okay. You do that. I'll move on. Okay, now I'm going to take three of the white pumpkin, flower, pumpkin poinsettias. Keep calling them pumpkin flowers, don't I? Mm-hmm. And then just kind of arrange these in a little row. But don't, if you're using an adhesive that you can't move around, don't glue them down yet. Because you're going to want to put the candles on. I can still move mine around, so I'm just going to lightly put them on here and not, um, yeah, and not, not really push them down hard yet. Don't push them down hard yet. Because I still want to get my candles behind there. Sounds good. my three candles and I put the larger one in the center the medium size over here and then the smallest one right here oops Now we can hold those down. Then I'm going to take two of the burgundy. Okay, put some glue on those for me, Grace. It's okay, Papa. You can glue that one down if you want more than just a glue ring. I'm just going to hand the clipboard over to her and she can be my glue assistant today. I need some glue on those too, please. Go. Boy, she's being a little liberal with the glue, isn't she? You got to really well, glue them, Grace. Well, my art teacher says to uh, a drops, one drop is all you need. Oh, we're going to have to talk to that art teacher, aren't we? <laughs> yep. She doesn't know the way that we craft. It's a boy. Oh, we're going to talk, have to talk <laughs> to him then. What do you mean your art teacher? You're homeschooled. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But the art teacher that, let's see, the one that was in kindergarten and first grade and preschool. Well, you're pretty much a teacher in preschool. I am your art teacher this year. Okay. Sounds good. This will count as her art class for today. Yeah. So I'm got to show off my art skills. Okay. Here. You show off your art skills by holding those pumpkin poinsettias down for a minute while okay. I finish this card. So you Do you need some glue on this? I will put 
put the glue on while you hold that quick. Okay, now again, we're gonna take three, looks like I just used two of the larger ones on that, but I'm using three on this card. Change it up a little bit. One kind of right there. Okay, lay it there, please, ma'am. It looks beautiful. Where do we want to put this guy? Maybe right there? Or over here? We can do the same thing as the other card. We'll put it right there. Looks good. Can I put him there? Like in the corner or something? No, remember, we're going to have to put our candles down. Yeah. So That's I'm going to do that one. first. I can't do that. Okay. Again, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, you can put that there, and I will put this up here. Two hands working on a car, or four hands are always better than oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, now this one. Yeah, they're always better than two hands. Four hands are better than two hands. Why don't you help me like this hands. at home? <laughs> I like videos instead. Because I like people watching me. Watching me. This there? So if I start a house cleaning video, YouTube, then yes. you're going to clean the house for me? Yes. <laughs> you guys all heard that. Yes, you guys did. Come down below if we should. Okay. Put that one. You can put yours right about there. And what are we always supposed to tell them when we're on YouTube, Hannah? Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, huh? Uh huh. She watches way too many YouTube videos. Yes. <laughs> Kid friendly YouTube videos. Yeah. Okay, people? Not a um, naughty kid videos. Mom will spank my butt if she finds that out. Like you, Miss Lou. She's not allowed to watch you anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm sad. <laughs> Although I do like your art. And she still wants Copics for Christmas. Yes! Okay, now I'm just taking some of the smaller holly leaves and adding them in a few places because I have a bunch cut out so honey this is Christmas she said what's coming up next Christmas <laughs> yes dear Christmas well I hope you all have a good Christmas Eve and a good Christmas. Okay, I think that just about does it. I think, nope, oh, nope, she glued another one for me, so I guess we're adding another. <laughs> Where should we add this one? Right in here? Right like that one. Kind of like that? Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you have it. Our A2 and our Slimline Tis the Season day three and if you didn't guess the dye of the day it's our pumpkin flower 
Yep. Okay, we will see you all again tomorrow. And what do you say to Amanda? Thank you for watching. And don't forget. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.